Hi, welcome to Clarinet HQ. No clarinet has every note perfectly in tune. Um, and I mean, it's impossible because physics, but it's very important to play in tune. Um, a big reason is because when you play out of tune, it sounds like nails on a chalkboard. A tuning chart is a great way to map out the pitch tendencies on your clarinet. And it's really helpful for two reasons. Um, one of them is that it can tell you which notes on your clarinet are a little sharp or a little flat, and you can practice adjusting them. And then the other reason is that using a tuning chart can help you figure out if your problems lie in your embouchure or your tongue position. First, make sure you go to the Clarinet HQ website and download our free tuning chart. And make sure you have a tuner on hand. There are a lot of free tuner apps that are out there that you can use, um, and you won't have to spend any money to buy one. For each note, you can circle the up arrow if the note is sharp, the down arrow if the note is flat, or the smiley face if the note is in tune. And if the note is within five cents, then you're probably in good shape. Before you play each note with a tuner, you first wanna make sure that you've warmed up your clarinet. Um, clarinets get sharper as they get warmer and play flatter as they are cold, as they get colder, okay? And so you wanna make sure that you've warmed up your clarinet appropriately before playing with the tuner because that could affect, that can affect the pitch. So when you play each note with the tuner, I first like to start the pitch with my eyes closed and then open them when I'm still holding the note out. So then I know that my brain and my body isn't automatically trying to adjust the pitch based on what I see on the tuner. So let's say you play a note and it turns out to be 10 cents sharp. Well, then you would circle the up arrow and you would write 10 where it says cents. After you do this for every note that you're comfortable playing, there, are, there may be some patterns that start to emerge. So a general rule is that if there's one note that's out of tune, but all the notes around it are in tune, then that's usually a problem with your instrument. If you have several notes in a row that are all out of tune in the same direction, that tells us that it's probably our embouchure or our tongue position that has the problem. So for example, you might notice that all your high notes are sharp, and that will tell you that you're probably biting too much. If all of your high notes are flat, then that usually means that your tongue position isn't high enough. But either way, you should check out our High Note Hacks playlist, and it's really helpful with adjusting, addressing those problems. On the other side of things, if you notice that your throat F is flat, but everything around it is in tune, then you might just need to vent your F key with the bottom side key, and that raises the pitch a little bit. Using a tuning chart is a great way to check up on things when you get a new piece of equipment, and even to check in on things if you're playing on the same instrument. Your embouchure may have strengthened, or maybe you have changed your playing um, in a way that's altered the pitch. And so if you wanna make sure that you're consistently playing in tune, using a tuning chart is a great way to do that.